wrong, Hiccup. I miss my mommy. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Hiccup, here comes your mom. <laughs> We should have got the one without the mask. Going backwards, here is the DreamWorks Dragons, Dragon Riders, Balka, and Cloud Jumper in their package as they would appear on store shelves in Canada. I have yet to ever see these in the States. I believe most of the Walmarts are clearancing most of their Dragons toys out, and this being an exclusive to Walmart, I don't think we're ever going to see. You can pick it up on eBay for around $40 to $50, and there is a variant on the Crazy Volca Mask. As always, Open Box Design gives you a chance to steal Cloud Jumper if you wish, with a Volca blistered away in plastic. The box is a little bit taller than your standard Dragon's Box, maybe twice as tall, but the toy isn't as large as I thought it was going to be. Seeing it on the eBay screen, I kind of thought it was going to be bigger, but turns out to be not that much bigger, but kind of bigger, so we'll see. On the back of the box, we have a terrific, fun, family-filled grouping of Volca and Cloud Jumper flying about with Toothless, Hookfang, and Stormfly flying in the background. Fly into battle, Vikings can ride any dragon. Since this is the crazy masked version of Volca, she is pictured. I wonder if the version with her unmasked has her unmasked on the back. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. Oh, and there's no other dragons available. Out of the package we have Valka and Cloud Jumper. Let's take a look at Cloud Jumper first as that's the main attraction. Uh, we have a somewhat larger Dragon Riders Dragon in Cloud Jumper, maybe about almost two times the size of most of the others, maybe just a little less. Uh, we've got four wings on Cloudy here. Let's test them out. Kind of cool. I like how they've done this version a little better than the other Cloud Jumper from the Power Dragon series. Uh, so we've got one set of wings on top with some articulation and it looks like they click into place and hold. And we've got a second dairy set of wings down on the bottom, the X wings, uh, also fun to say. And they also have a little bit of click to them. So you can kind of get them into a couple main positions and they kind of pop into the other positions. On the back we've got some spines going down her back, kind of a soft rubbery dragon spine and I don't believe this tail has any wire inside. It looks like it's going to stay up. I don't want to force it uh, because I won't be ever getting another chance at this uh, toy so I gotta be really careful. Uh, head rotates on a neck so we can do full 360 head rotation real easy too on it so that's kind of nice and we've got two legs over here uh, each with a little bit of articulation uh, to it this uh, one on the uh, left here rotates much better you can do a, almost a full 180 even more than that whereas the right leg it's a little less. Almost feels like there's an action feature on that, but I don't think there is. Uh, the only action feature that we've got, surprise, surprise, is a, what do you call these things? Something that shoots out of something. It projects, I uh, can't remember, the tile, projectile. Okay, anyway, I'll stop there. Uh, <laughs> enter into the mouth, like so, and press back head. This is so novel. Oh my goodness, this traveled across the United States just to shoot about 12 inches. So there you go. Um, not too excited, about, oh that one did better, maybe 20, so. Not too excited about that, kind of ruins the mouth. You've got this big hole in there now. Uh, good white teeth though, great yellow eyes. Looking closer at that great cloud jumper head, this is one of the better uh, dragon heads of the series just because it is so large. Uh, and there's so much character packed into him. Uh, you could just see him so serious, but yet kind of comical too, uh, and how the dragons sometimes become silly. Uh, great yellow eyes, black uh, pupils, a little bit of red coloring throughout, kind of triceratops head-like, owl-like of course. Uh, very amazing uh, head sculpt. I kind of wish we didn't have that projectile again, uh, ruining in that inside the mouth there, but pretty terrific looking. Uh, just a fun dragon overall to kind of complete your Dragon Rider series if you are meaning to complete everything that you've ever wanted to complete.
Oh. What's wrong now, Hiccup? My mom. She scares me. Well, you're in luck, because your mom is on a goofy cloud jumper toy, and she's really friendly now. Okay? Well, that didn't work either. Taking a quick look at the Volca minifigure, uh, there's two styles, again, to choose from. There's one with the crazy tribal kabuki mask on her, and I prefer it just because it's a little more battle, a little, a little more toy uh, friendly, just a lot of excitement. I don't really care for her face anyway. She always looked like she got hit with a frying pan or something in battle. Uh, so this one is way preferred, and I believe this one is the cheaper route, too. I think the uh, actual... Uh, open face mask is a little more expensive, harder to find in Canada. So there you go. She has a cape and we have uh, arms that rotate. Get that weapon here. Pretty cool staff weapon. She twirls around. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Um, there's no outward movement on these, just uh, 380 or whatever. And let's see, some of these hips rotate. Uh, her waist rotation is limited on this one. Head rotation, and it's kind of stopped by these horns coming out of her jawline. So pretty cool minifigure nonetheless. I like how she looks ready for battle, and I think is a worthy addition to the toy. Getting her to ride Cloud Jumper might be a little trickier than some of the other dragon riders. Most use their just squishy plastic legs to hug the dragon. Uh, this one has a rider's post, and it looks kind of uh, kind of weak. I'm not sure yet. We'll test her out again. And you're going to place her right there. Do you see it? It's right there. It's kind of hidden with all these uh, back spines. And you're going to just place her on that. And yeah, it's no, it's so so. It could be a little better. She does stand. Uh, we do a fly over here. And um, okay, well, she will fall off with intense turbulence. I'll tell you that. Uh, but if you hold on, oh wait a second, I see another riding pig. I am wrong here for the first time in the history of this uh, review cycle. We've got another riding pig in between these two uh, spines. So put one leg in that one, and this is way more substantial. Let's get her in there. And the other one. So now she's, you know, doing her Volca side saddle like when she flies by Toothless and she's all like, hey, check me out, woo, hoo, hoo. Um, so now she's probably way more secure. You can do way more turbulence and she looks better too, just kind of on that sideways uh, look. So that's how you ride uh, Cloud Jumper. A quick comparison with Cloud Jumper here and the Cloud Jumper Action Dragon. Uh, kind of two different styles, one standing and just enormous, the other one kind of in their Death Star attack run type of thing going on. This one being a lot more purpley, mahogany reddish color, this one being a little more tan. Uh, which one is more correct? I think this coloring. No, wait, maybe this coloring. I don't know. Pick your favorite uh, color. Uh, this one definitely more a little more detailed and proportional to the Cloud Jumper, but on the other hand, there's a lot of standing scenes of Cloud Jumper in the movie, and this one kind of feels pretty good. This one actually almost might work with your other action dragons as a superior Cloud Jumper, and this one for your attacking. And a quick scale comparison with some of the other Dragon Riders available. Again, you can see she's about twice the size of your normal Dragon Rider figure here with uh, Stormfly and Astrid and uh, Toothless and... <laughs> what is a Cyclops doing on there? It's kind of funny, these figures are very close to Imaginex figures. So you can see that this is just a great uh, trophy figure to put in place of your uh, collection. And that is the great Valka and Cloud Jumper Dragon Rider set. A really hard one to find, but well worth it in the hunt. This one will solidly complete your Dragon Rider series. Hopefully, maybe it will start appearing in the United States. If not, check out eBay for it. It's still around a little bit. This is a pretty cool, amazing dragon that Ultra Collectors will not want to miss. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on, Hiccup. What's wrong now?
I wish I could get along with my mom better. Ugh. Well, she just flew away with your dragon, so I don't think that's gonna be happening. Ah! <laughs>